There is something wrong with his eyebrow. I got a parachute too. I have a parachute. Fantastic! Parachutes are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. After all, you'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product, not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. Uh... Trust my life, but of course, I, I mean, I mean, of course not. So, that's the last of my gear. Sweet. Excellent. We could get going if only my damn machine would work. But you can't find a thing in this house. No nitroglycerin, no dragon hide armor, no concentrated pillars of salt, no full mithril jacket bullets. Nothing. <laughs> what? What do you need all that for? For what? It's a war. But we just want to deliver the ring to the archmage. Don't you think a sled? What? I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Something highly explosive. The only thing that comes to mind is good old dwarven ale. Sounds dwarven good enough. Dwarven ale. Devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. We wow. We loved the smell of dwarven ale in the morning. <laughs> okay, I'll get you some dwarven ale. Anything else? Yes. I need a cog. A five-eighth inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. It's wow. not a standard size and I can't find one anywhere. Hmm. A five-eighth inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Sounds familiar. I'm impressed. Come back when you've got the stuff. I'll sort out the rest. But bear in mind, the Dark Lord knows all of your thoughts. Right. Mm hmm. Well, I think lots of people love the smell of napalm. I mean, dwarven ale in the morning. Anyway, let's see. He said it sounded familiar. I wonder if this fish might have something in it. Maybe I could use the toolbox on the fish. Well, that won't work. It wiggles too much. Oh. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's a vice over here. Can I put this in it? It's stuck. Poor thing. Nice. Alright. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a gear. Shouldn't be a problem with the right tool. Sweet. There you are. A 5-8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. That's really impressive. Mm, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Fly. Oh, maybe it was important. <laughs> well, so much for that. Alright, so we need dwarven ale and there's only one dwarf around here, so I guess it's time to go see him again. Off we go. I wonder if I could just... Ah, oh, yeah. That's faster. Can't do that, Hello, though. Master Brewer, sir! Aye, aye, Wilbur. Alright. So, uh, how did you beat that uh, GHRX100? When the robot started in on you, I never thought you'd beat it. <laughs> it was an epic scrap, lad, an epic scrap. Dwarf against machine, nature against technology, mind over matter. Mind? How did you destroy it? <laughs> I hit him as hard as I could with heavy objects until sparks started leaping out of him. <laughs> oh, a shrewd tactic. Too right, but he did land a couple on me. Look what he did to my beard. Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, he did that. I was so tanked up with ale and adrenaline I didn't even notice. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you didn't notice because, um, let's not get into it. I'd uh, like to ask a question. It's about dwarven ale. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale, dwarven ale? <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterpeak? 
The volcanic eruption. Ha <laughs> ha Volcanic eruption. Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well, some so-and-so cocked up, and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing. After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. Well, that uh, sounds like some pretty dangerous stuff. Could you tell me how to brew dwarven ale? You said it was easy to uh, brew beer, so I imagine it's not that hard, right? But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Of course I know! I'm the master <laughs> brewer! It's not difficult, either. First, you duck. get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course, millet, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? Uh, what are... Uh... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using a decoction procedure. After wow. the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer, and add the hops. Um. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast, and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Ow. Stop. What? We're just getting to the exciting part. <laughs> I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. Could uh, you brew me some ale? Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale is nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a wee taste of it again. No, oh, but it's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself? Aye. It's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay, what do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hops and some barley for malting. Well, that's... Uh, that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope! Water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances and uh, a couple of E numbers. Oh, but wow. I've already got them here. Oh, good. Okay, water, hops, and barley. I'll get them. All right, well, um, I got some barley. Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Hmm. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. Sounds good. Uh, where exactly should I get the hops from? Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. I've not enough left. I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. Well, maybe I can get some from that rat hole since the rat is gone. All right, I'll carry on. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, check the rat hole. See if we mm. got any hops in there. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. There's something in there. Something round. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. Ew. It's a single hop. 
This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Hmm. I don't know if a single hop is going to be enough for what he needed. Anyway, we need some water, and I have an idea about that since this isn't working. I've got myself an icicle. Can It'll take a long time for the icicle to melt. After all, the pot isn't all that warm. I should yeah. speed up the melting process. But that stove is awfully warm, from what I remember. It shouldn't take long to melt the icicle. The stove is still warm. Awesome. The icicle is gone. All that's left is crystal clear water. Well, that was pretty quick. All right. I think that just about does it. Don't think we need anything else from in here. Go talk to Master Brewer and see if this single hop will work. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, I will burn. Well, I uh, got some hops for the ale. I've got some hops for the ale. <laughs> oh, no, my lad. That's not enough. Uh, I need more hops. A proper handful. But I, I can't find any more. Oh, well, that's it as far as the dwarven ale's concerned. But you can plant the hops. You'll have enough next year. <laughs> that is not going to work out. Well, anyway, here's uh, some crystal clear water. I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Hey, that water's very good. We can use this. All right, well, I'll let you carry on. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. I've got an idea about those hops. Let's see if my idea pans out. He said to plant it, so let's do that. Okay, I'll plant the hop in the soil. All right. Um, super fertilizer might help. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Wow. That's Good impressive. That. Nah. <laughs> that is very impressive. Whoa! A huge hop plant with tons of cones. Well, let's take some. I've picked about ten cones. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. Cool. Um, I guess that's about it. Let's go get that dwarven ale. Should be good enough. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will burn. Now I've actually got some hops for you. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Oh, that's enough. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. No. <laughs> well, only indirectly. In a way. And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> nice. Right, it's all go now then. That wasn't too long. Pretty fast to brew some ale. Hey, laddie! Just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarven ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening? Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. Uh, not everybody's born for having adventures, my lad. But... Maybe you really do need to get out of here. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, intelligent old dwarf. 
<laughs> but that can't go on forever, can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just a sea stone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? <laughs> I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. Yeah, with your ale. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be sure to come back and tell him stories of whatever we find out there. So, hold on. With a pot on my head, does that make me a pothead? Wow. Okay, moving on. Should be everything that uh, Grandfather wants. And down we go. Hey, Gramps, I got some stuff. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad? Yes, report back. All right, we got some dwarven ale. Here's the dwarven ale, Grandad. Oh, my goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed! Hey, 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 I am not dismissed. I have a cog. Here's the cog, Grandad. I have to break my flying fish for that. War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero, one of our best. We will honor his memory. <laughs> now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Take off? Figured that's why we would need a parachute. That's what you meant by take off. Absolutely. I've aimed her at the town of the humans. Betsy, too, was of course designed to shoot grenades. But wow. I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there, too. Confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I, I didn't think... Too slow, my boy! <laughs> Wow. Good luck. That looks pretty dangerous. Should be there in no time. This looks rather familiar. Sort of. I don't see the eye, but okay. Wait, that staff looks a little bit like the eye. <laughs> he still hasn't told us, Mother. He will. Who else knows about it? The Archmage won't know about it yet. We were able to intercept the servant, as you know. But... But? An elf, Mother. She tried to free MacGuffin. She might know something. She needs to be watched. Very well. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. Oh. oh well, no problem. I am an elf, and I'm fit. <laughs> what now? I'll get the book out of MacGuffin's secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. No, they were all gone when I got there. They collected the cage and were off. Now it's up to us to get the book. Of course I don't have to, but... Well, what else am I going to do? It appears to be very important. And even if it isn't important, those shady fellows want to have that book. It's better that we get it out of the cellar before they get their grubby mitts on it. Then don't help me. Why don't you just fly home? Just don't tell my parents anything. Ungrateful feathered fowl. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, next time we'll go ahead and look in this little hut for that book. But uh, for now, this is me signing off. See y'all later, everyone.